everyone. Today I'm going to be making Chef Sam's Butternut Squash Soup Recipe from HealthySchoolRecipes.com. And this is a really great, versatile soup using local butternut squash, local onions, and a few basic seasonings. So really the recipe just calls for, of course, the onion is going to add some extra flavor, salt and pepper. So this you can, if you want to add your own seasoning blend, your own dry or fresh herbs, you can really make it what you want. So today I'm going to add some curry powder and just a little bit of cinnamon. I think it's gonna add a nice sort of warmth and richness to the squash. So the first step, we already have our diced butternut squash. And then any kind of oil will do, but I'm using a main grown sunflower oil here, which is a nice neutral oil. Oops. And I use the parchment paper just because it makes cleanup a lot easier, but you don't have to if you don't have that in your kitchens. I have a chopped up onion. And when you're prepping the onion and the squash for this recipe, don't worry about having meticulously perfect diced squash or chopped onion because it's all going to get blended. So as long as everything is pretty much the same size, so it cooks evenly, you're good to go. And at this stage too, if you wanted to add some different flavors to your soup, use up leftover ingredients that you have. You know, you could also chop up some carrots, some celery, I think some parsnips would be really good in this to add some sweetness. Um, but we're going to keep it kind of simple. A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then we've just got our curry powder. So I like to add the spices before they go into the oven because they can kind of toast up a bit in the oven. You can also add it, if you forget at this step, you can add the spices and the seasoning when you're blending the roasted vegetables with the broth. And it already smells so good. Make sure everything is evenly coated. That looks great. And so I've got our oven preheated to 400. I'm gonna pop this in here and I'm gonna keep an eye on it. There's not a lot on this tray here so they're gonna cook quite quickly, but we want everything to be nicely golden brown and when we stick a fork or a knife into it, come out and be nice and tender. Great, so now our squash with our onions have finished cooking and they smell really great. That cinnamon and curry doesn't take much to add a lot of flavor. All right, so I'm going to blend this. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of liquid in there. Pause it, scrape down the sides. And the reason why I didn't just add all the liquid at once is because this is a food processor, so it's not really intended for liquids. And if I added all of that stock, it would just make a mess. So I first kind of mix it in here, and then I'm going to gradually pour it through the opening, the top of the lid. another stir. This is going to be a little bit of a matter of preference for how much I add here. Of course, follow the recipes that we have, but I am going to, I think that looks good. So I'm going to blend it a little bit more and then I'm going to check the seasoning on it. I've got some more salt and pepper if I need to add that. I'm 
think it's very good. And I'm gonna just add the rest of that stock. It's on the thicker side right now. And finish it up. All right, looks good, smells amazing. It's gonna pop this off here, carefully. And ladle some up into a bowl. And this one, you know, we use butternut squash, but you can really use any kind of squash. We'll do just fine. A little bit of chopped parsley, a little bit of dried minced onion, add some nice crunch, a little bit of confetti on top, and that's our Chef Sam's butternut squash soup. <laughs>